Hello, my wonderful viewers, and welcome to another episode of Betty Adams Embers. Today we are looking at the question of how Robot Robinson left such a clear handprint on the steering ring of the Resolute, and why the writers thought it necessary to include that. First, the obvious. Will was looking for clues to where Robot Robinson was, and the handprint was a very obvious visual clue that Robot had been there. Will had already been told that Robot was the one who jumps the Resolute to the Danger System before absconding with Scarecrow's engines. However, the source of that information was Hastings, so how reliable it was was questionable, especially as they seemed to have had no recordings of the event. The handprint was direct physical evidence that Robot had been there. So, either the... Resolute does not have security cameras in the engine room, a possibility given the security it's under and how secret they were keeping Scarecrow in the engine, or Sar was hacking the security feed as he went, which is another very likely possibility as Mohawk was shown to have that capability as well. And as I went into great, it is highly probable that Scarecrow's engine eventually never left the Resolute in the first place. So, with Scarecrow's engine either hidden or hiding somewhere on the Resolute, Star's ship left on the other side of the wormhole, Sar and Robot then left the uh, engine room and hitched a ride down to the Amber Planet, probably on one of the Jupiters, leaving Scarecrow to the, alone on a near-empty Resolute. But, we now know that Robot Robinson was in that room, most likely at the same time as Scarecrow was there, because Scarecrow was able to identify the handprint as Robot Robinson's just from Will's brief conversation with Scarecrow. That means that Scarecrow likely watched Robot Robinson make the handprint. But how did Robot Robinson make that handprint? Looking back at the end of Season 1, Sar and Robot weren't on the Resolute for long. The Resolute collected the main body of the colonists and was about to jump, meaning that Scarecrow was in the harness, so to speak, with probably with Adler at the controls when Victor Dahar insisted on doubling back for the Robinsons in the J-2. At this point, the, Resolute is, the crew of the Resolute is itching to jump out of the danger system with the black hole and the approaching alien robots. So, Scarecrow had to have been in the harness, ready to jump the Resolute. Uh, but at that point, Robot, Robin's engine, Robot Robinson's engine jumped the J-2 to the J danger system. Moments after the J-2 jumped, Robot and Sar impacted the Resolute and brought their fight on, onto its corridors. We don't know how long the fight lasted, but there are limiting factors in either directions. The witnesses said that Robot Robinson was protecting the colonists. Th this means that at some point after they impacted the Resolute, Sar was still fighting and tried to attack the humans, and Robot Robinson intervened, intervened obviously enough for the colonists to be sure that he was protecting them, not just fighting the other robot. However, the fight didn't last much longer than that, as neither Sar nor Robot Robinson had much more damage than we see them take on screen. Presumably, Robot cut a deal for his cooperation if Sar stopped killing people. Then, the Resolute jumps to the danger system, and the evacuation order is given. Presumably, Sar and Robot hitch a ride down to the planet with one of the Jupiters. But we want to focus on what happened in the control room in that very brief section of time they could not have been in that control room long. Now, the human crew had either evacuated before Robot got to the engine room, or evacuated after he forced the doors open under his protection. But, presumably, Scarecrow was still in the harness waiting for the order to take the Resolute out of system, because attack, an attack by alien robots would only make the crew that much more twitchy to get out of that system. Now, it is unclear if Sar was with Robot in the engine room at this point, all we do know is that Robot at some point grips the piloting controls. Now, if the steering controls are hit by a thermal blast, they react essentially the same way we see the whole of the Jupiter would, but to a much lesser degree. The damage, that spider webby Lichtenberg type damage that we see on the whole of the J2 after it's attacked by the alien robots on the Amber Planet, is shows up on the steering controls too. And it's pretty much the same, a round circle spider webbing out from a central damage point, but the much stronger material of the st alien steering controls does not take nearly as much damage. Now, we don't know if this is because it's that much sturdier or because per the dam we don't know who gave it the damage. It could have been one of Scarecrow's early attempts to escape that damaged it when he was much weaker. But we can presume that a structure that survived impacting Earth and then having a ship built around it is pretty darn sturdy. So we know what the thermal blast damage looks like on these steering controls. 
even if we don't know who actually did that damage. And we know that Robot's hands cool down very quickly once he stops blasting, because he's been shown to touch humans very soon after cooling his hands down from an attack. So it's highly unlikely that it was Robot's own heat that caused the handprint. And if you look closely, the missing metal wasn't melted or evaporated. If you look at where the palm print, as it were, is, it isn't smooth like it would be if it had been melted, and there's no dripping metal beneath it. And it isn't smooth as if the metal were evaporated by a super intense heat. It's covered in jagged pock marks, the kind made by many small explosions coming up from underneath the metal. And it's deep. Robot's hand had sunk into the material of the control device. And it's low, within a foot or two of the base, nowhere near the raised grip Scarecrow, Scarecrow used to pilot the Resolute. So what was Robot doing touching the steering controls that low down to the side? Now, the, the show did refer to the robots as keys that complete the circuit to allow the flight. Perhaps Robot Robinson didn't fit Scarecrow's ship and engine. Perhaps gripping the steering controls properly was never actually an option. These aliens clearly have tech level to key a ship to its pilot. And remember, even though Scarecrow had been willingly following the orders Adler gave him up to that point, well, as willingly as he could, he had been following them, but he refused to touch Robot's engine. Perhaps Scarecrow objected to Robot Robinson piloting him ship, or perhaps the reaction was more like an autoimmune disease. Perhaps the engines will reject a pilot that is not their own pilot. But Robot Robinson did grip the steering control low down on the side and did leave that handprint. And the jagged pockmarks left under his palm do suggest that, that the material was melted or evaporated under his hand. But not by his heat. Rather, it looks like they were caused by some internal reaction happening from the material outward, like a thousand tiny explosions. Now, if Robot were the wrong key, it makes sense that the ignition would have tried to reject him. A powerful current running underneath his hand, like the current that would have been running through the steering controls, rejecting him would have caused the metal he was touching to explode outward in small pockets, trying to force his hand away. That would have made the, those marks quite nicely. He would have had to be constantly tightening his grip, which would have driven his hand down and caused that deep groove we saw. So, here is my theory. Robot Robinson bursts into the control room with the goal of taking the Resolute to the danger system, following the Robinsons in the Jupiter 2, with or without Sar in tow, because we don't know if Sar was with him in the room, if they'd made their truce by then. The humans quickly evacuate at the presence of two, one or two furious robots, and Robot Robinson sees Scarecrow hooked up to the steering controls. This effectively blocks his access to a proper grip on the controls, so instead of piloting the ship properly, he hacks it from below. He, he basically hotwires it, grabs the metal, only for the metal of the steering control to begin to burst painfully under his touch. His hand sinks into the material as he forces the Resolute to open a wormhole and follow the wormhole through into the danger system. However, the presence of the wrong pilot at the controls has set the shattered defenses of Scarecrow's engine to work. A thousand cables snake out of the ovoid of the main engine and crawl into the walls to hide from the intruder. The discharge caused by Robot Robinson hacking the star has damaged Scarecrow's bindings that held Scarecrow in place, and Scarecrow falls to the floor even as Robot Robinson bolts for the door with barely a glance at the other pilot. So... There it is, my wonderful viewers. What do you think? Leave a like below if you agree with my theory, or leave a comment atomizing my arguments like the Resolute if you disagree. Peace out, my wonderful viewers.